I have covered the TAC-56 already once here on the channel, but there have been additions of other attachments and I've also gained more knowledge about attachments and statistics since the last time I covered it. So this build is similar to my last one, but also quite a bit different. It's much more fast paced in the forms of aim down sight speed. And honestly, it has less recoil as well. So just, you know, build for build, this one's far better. Starting us off here with a stock with the TV Cardinal stock. That's for aim walking speed and sprint speed. Overall, this is a pretty slow assault rifle in general, a very good medium and long range option, but getting that stray speeds will end up helping you in the close range if necessary. For the rear grip, we have the FSS combat grip to help with recoil control and gun kick control. Nothing too really much to talk about here. We got 7% across the board. It's gonna make it easier to hit your shots. For an ammunition type, I'm going with the high grain rounds to increase your bullet velocity and damage range by 15% across the board. Obviously the barrel on this weapon will increase the damage range more, but these sacrifices are quite extreme. I'm gonna show you that in a second, but I just want you guys to kind of, you know, look at this and consider. We have a pretty fast aimed out sight speed at 275 milliseconds. Let's jump over to the barrel so you can see what I'm talking about. So if we were to jump over here to the Tundra barrel, it's going to give you more damage range at 24%, of course, but a large sacrifice of 24% to the aim down sight speed, and it now becomes a slug weapon. So it does have a trade-off. If you want the longer damage range, go with the barrel. But if you want a faster aim down sight speed, make sure you guys are using the high grain rounds. For an under barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip, virtually a staple on all Modern Warfare 2 weapons, simply to control the visual recoil on the weapon, and this one does the best job. But not only does it control fire aiming stability, but we also get 10% to the gun kick and 8% to the horizontal recoil control. And our final attachment is the Purifier Muzzle Brake S4, more horizontal recoil control and fire aiming stability. Normally you would see me using the Zem Compensator here, but after trying it out, we don't sacrifice any aim down sight speed and the weapon is very, very steady with this attachment. So we get 18% there to the horizontal recoil control and the addition of fire aiming stability. So there's all of your attachments. If you guys needed to copy that one down, the TAC-56 is a staple or the SCAR is a staple weapon throughout Call of Duty history, the cleanest iron sights in the franchise and I'm surprised I don't see it getting more love. Obviously the TAC Eradicator, the TAC Evolver are both pretty good. And I would honestly put the TAC 56 in a similar scale, not meta by any means, but definitely a very usable option. So we're gonna be doing two gameplays today simply because the first one was pretty quick, pretty good gameplay. But the second one, honestly, much more intense, a lot of deaths, a lot of kills, a lot of rage. So listen, watch that, watch this thing all the way through. Probably gonna get a lap or two out of it. Let's get into it. I am fairly certain it wouldn't matter how bad any of the scars or tacks are as long as they had these iron sights. If the iron sights are good, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't freaking matter to be honest. I love these weapons simply due to the iron sights. Like the TAC-56 is not like a meta. You know what I mean? It's, it's not expected to be. None of the Modern Warfare 2 weapons are a meta, but What they are, are super reliable, super fun, and super clean weapons. Like the iron sights on this weapon, I'm sure everybody already knows, are so clean and there's nothing that can take it away from that. Where's the guy on the hill? Now, Breenberg Hotel, I, it's a choice simply because obviously it's a Modern Warfare 2 gun two map and i'm using a modern warfare 2 weapon this guy is lagging so bad i can't hit him oh my goodness wait hi as long as i stay like at medium range shouldn't have problems it's just uh, you know it's the type of weapon that you if you get yourself in the wrong situation uh you will lose gunfights which is unfortunate obviously back in mw2 this thing was so good and they couldn't do anything to nerf it but i think the raised like uh ttk is what really helped this weapon like thrive That's the type of gunfight I was just talking about, by the way. That could have gone very bad, very quick. If I was even remotely one shot there, that could have been bad. Did get a helo. Hello. I think they're going to be here, but I'm not 100%. I don't know where he came from. I don't know how he snuck through everybody. Hey, 
Advanced UAV. I didn't need to, but like right here. Changing mags. Confirming next hard point. I'm kind of voice cracking at the moment. Definitely haven't taken advantage of the advanced UAV as much as I would have wanted to, but that's okay. Of course, that guy wanted to become an AFK. I don't know how I heard that guy. I believe I need one kill. I don't know. I don't like how they slowed down. I'm not saying I want them to speed up, but I don't like how slow it got. Alright. And right after I am dead, homie hit me with the quick scope of a century. This guy is frying me. Oh my goodness. You owe me one. I'm going to just hit my swarm here. Holy crap, dude. This guy is kind of nasty with it. Three deaths in a row. This man has messed me up. Not sure what my swarm just did, but sure. Forty-six. They should come right here or right there. One of the two. Not much as oh well. Throwing I'm not just gonna sit here. Might be a second gameplay kind of kind of stuff here because I think between all the pauses and stuff, there's not much happening. Well, not a lot of editing needed. Yeah, we're going to hit the nuke and we're probably going to do a second game. Don't know what it's going to be. Maybe like a TDM, something like that. That was a super fast pace, not stressful, but fast pace for sure kind of game to a pretty slow one. I ended up with 53, which isn't great by any means, but a second game play is going to be incoming. So I basically just went into the grow house 24 seven playlist here and we ended up getting hard point anyways. I was going to just take TDM or kill confirmed or even domination. If it's going to give me hard point, I'm going to take it. You know what I mean? 
Now that's where I'm going to have trouble. Somebody sprints on me with an SMG. I'm going to have issues. Just simple nature of the beast. I'm taking rounds. Okay, so they did clean up the other guy with the SMG, so that's good. This guy is destroying me. I mean, he's skating around. This is probably not a good map for this weapon, but I'll make it work. I am dead. Dude, I am, I mean, shit. This is a good game for featuring aggressive play, but I'm not using an aggressive weapon, so this doesn't help me whatsoever. We did get spawns, so they should be, hypothetically, Never mind. <laughs> I have a ton of kills. I just can't do anything, dude. If I get one streak out of this game, I will be impressed. Just watching our back here. Should be good. in a streak. I'm in it. I like it. Close to another streak. Why did I have to say anything? I'm stupid. They're rocking me, so like. He stuck me. Overwatch Hilo, but we can't use that. I'm going to go down low. Good stuff, teammates. Much 
You get spawns? I think they got spawns, but nobody's watching. Advanced UAV. I'm gonna go right here. They won't even expect it. Won't even expect me here. Sneaky little snake. Say it with me. Sneaky little snake. Nice job, teammate. Swarm. That swarm might have saved us the game. Shoot, get on the hill. Oh my gosh, that was stressful. That was intense, a good kind of stressful. Good battle, other team. Jeez, um. Oh.